Alrighty guys, welcome to Gaming Instincts TV and welcome to our 100% completion guide for Spyro the Dragon in the Reignited Trilogy. This is the first game and we're going to be showing you the Stonehill level. So with that being said, let's begin by looking at our guidebook, as always, to see what we need. So we got 200 gems, 4 dragons and an egg to collect. And there is a skill point in here where we have to burn the hidden tulip. So with that being said, you're going to start along the left side of the wall here. You're going to get these two chests and a gem and basically you're gonna kill every enemy in this area and then we're gonna head into the one of the rooms so just keep going along the wall till you make a complete circle basically or until you get all of the items or as of course I would like to say the best advice is just follow this guide and you'll be good I believe that is it so we're gonna go kill this last ram and then we're gonna head straight to this room we're gonna collect these two gems here, make a left, get these two treasure chests, and then we're gonna kill another ram and then get the life on the right side. And then we're gonna turn around, come over here where the return home thing is, get our first dragon and the rest of the chests, of course, and there's also a hidden key in here as well. Vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! Okay, so what you want to do is you want to drop down over here. You want to collect these three gems, two green ones and one red one. If you did everything correctly, you'll be at 66. You're gonna go in this room, break these chests. You can only break them by ramming into them with the X button. That is if you're on the Xbox controller, I believe it's the same thing on the DualShock. Get the key, get back up, and if you did everything correctly, you'll be at 80 gems. As you guys saw earlier on the top left corner. So, now we're gonna go to another room over here. And I think we're gonna go outside. No, we're not going outside, sorry, another room with full of treasure chests. We're gonna go outside at the end. So, as you guys can imagine, just break everything, collect all the stuff. There's a lot of loot here. I love this room. Simply because there's so many chests here, it's just fun to break them. And I left the gem out there. Don't do what I did. Make sure you go pick it up. That's also our second dragon, by the way. Out of the four. So I'm gonna pick up the leftover gem that I didn't the first time. Because I was too excited to break things. Now we're gonna go outside, I believe. And it's kind of where things get a little bit complicated, but not really. As you go through this, you're probably gonna hear a laughing noise. That's the guy that's, you know, robbing the eggs. We're gonna get him later. So make sure you break everything and you explore this area completely. There's a lot of enemies here. There's wizards that you have to kill and the ramps. And also you can get an achievement or a trophy here. If you put 10 sheep... On fire, you will get a, an achievement for that. So make sure you do that as well. Just have to flame up the 10 sheep. It's pretty easy. It doesn't have to be all at once. Just 10 sheep overall. So keep collecting stuff. Follow the guide. Kill all the enemies and you should be good. There's quite a few hidden gems here as you guys can see. Alright, so once you clear the area, you're gonna go inside this tower and go up. We're gonna get our third dragon. Gildas. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on grinding? You bet! For the longest slide, press the jump button at the top of your jump. And try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Alrighty, we got 10 dragons total now. Pretty cool. So over here, you're going to glide down to these two gems. Collect them. And you're going to follow this way. Collect these three hidden red gems. This is the complicated part because this is a very big open field. And there's a lot of hidden stuff here. So over here, you're going to find two green gems, which is going to give you a total of four. 
So there's the guy on the left with the egg. We're gonna get him later. Collect these two random gems over here. And we're also gonna get a tulip later down the road. But first, I like to collect stuff. And I just missed the red gem, and I think I'm gonna get it on my way back. It was on the left side, if you guys didn't notice that. So yeah, there's another hidden red gem. There's a lot of hidden stuff here. Okay, so this side of the building has four green gems, which is gonna give you a total of eight. So we're getting pretty close to our final number. The final number is 200. We are at 184. I believe there's a chest I have to break, and I have to collect that one more red gem that I missed. And I think that's when we're gonna go get the key. Uh, we, I mean, where do you have the key? We're gonna open up the chest with the key. So yes, we're just gonna jump down and backtrack soon. So that's 185. Yeah, there's one green gem in that hidden chest. And after you get everything outside, before you open up the chest, you should be at 187. Because the area where the chest is, there's 13 gems total. So yeah. So we're gonna chase this guy. You wanna use a sprint. And basically you wanna get close enough to him to put a... Flame on his butt. Because that's the only way you can get the X bag. So he's going to give you some exercise here. As you guys can see, I'm messing up. But I got him in the end. So basically, you just want to keep chasing him and try to cut him diagonally. That's usually the trick for most of these things. This is where the tulip is as well. So I'm going to show you the area here. You guys can see where the tulip is just you know use this as a landmark if you see this bushy leaf thing that's where the tulip is so yeah uh, otherwise just use this guide as a visual aid so we're gonna drop down we're gonna go back to where we started the level and we're gonna drop down to a well rescue our final dragon collect three more gems and open up the chest that's gonna have 10 gems and it's gonna be gg so here's the well we go down we pick up three red gems easy peasy we rescue the dragon, Lemon Squeezy. What's up, Gavin? I really like his design. I love the dragon designs in this game, man. They're so cool. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. sure. All right, all dragons found. We're gonna open up the chest. Make sure you're in front of it. If you're to the side of it, it's not gonna activate. There's your ten last gems, and that is it. Two hundred out of two hundred. 100% level completion, GG, and we got the skill point as well, as you guys can see here, in a second I'm gonna pull out the guidebook, just to double check everything, even though it tells me, yep, stone hill 200 out of 200, 4 out of 4 dragons, 1 out of 1 eggs, and we got the skill point as well. Alright guys, I hope this was helpful for you, and if it was, please like and subscribe, and I will see you soon for more Spire of the Dragon in the Reignited Trilogy Guides. Peace out!